It is Chelsea 4, Manchester United 3. Manchester United, yes, I want to say right now, I can't believe the shit that I've just seen. Chelsea is blue. I'm feeling blue. My God. My God. Do you know what I have to say? My God, because, oh my God, I just can't believe what I've listened, witnessed. We lost the game last minute.com. Deja vu. Opposite way around. The same game that you saw against Liverpool when we won that winning goal. Guess what? Karma has slapped us right in the back of the face. And it happens to be Chelsea who done it towards us. Last minute.com goal. Manchester United. I just knew it. I just knew it. Eight minutes to be added on. Referee, thank you very much for that. We all said it. We was like, you know what? This is something some bad's gonna happen from this. Something bad's gonna come out of this. And it did. To lose that game in that way. Unacceptable. And this players, I'm I'm tired of Manchester United, guys, for those who watched that game. And that match was far too open for my liking. The midfield was far too open, and it's just worrying. And, and Ten Hag has said early on in his press conference that the 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 Ratcliffe, Ratcliffe should be patient and and he should be here, you know, and don't give up on the on the, on the project and all that kind of crap. I've given up. That was crap. That was bullshit, guys. Can you imagine to watch hundred and two minutes of that to lose like that? After losing 2-0, why can't we just lose 2-0, 3-0, 4-0? Why give us the ecstasy? Why give us the belief, you know, to come back 2-2? Guys, for those who didn't watch that game, oh, what, it, what a spectacular game for the neutral. But for me, I am totally pissed off to see that type of game and lose like that. And I knew that was going to lose. I said 2-0. But to lose like that, to give me hope, to make me happy, and then to lose 4-3. Manchester United, the first 45 minutes, I have to say, was a first half of madness. The f game was far too open. Chelsea was going through us like hot knife on butter. Jackson was having fun running through the middle as well. Cole Palmer killing and eating off Dallo. No, he was cooking Dallo. Dallo costing us that penalty. That he made them equalize and then the, and then the oh. but that first goal we conceded, which was of course a goal from Conor Gallagher, that we continue to con concede. The balls being cut in from crosses from from the wide left or the wide right, right hand flank or left hand flank, and then going straight in for a tap in, and that's what happened. Gusto with that cross to find Conor Gallagher to just finish it in. And I was just so vexed and pissed off to see that goal because that goal we conceded so many times throughout the whole season. And again, nothing has been done about that defensively in terms of correcting it. 2 0 with penalty. Anthony fouling Modric and Modric conning. <laughs> Modric did what he had to do. He conned, he conned Anthony well. And Anthony fell for it. And then again, making it 2 0 for Chelsea. Carl Palmer to score that goal. Uh, Manchester United. Happened to equalise. And and it was an equaliser from a Chelsea mistake, giving the ball away. Um, Garnacho getting that slippery pass from the, one of the Chelsea defenders and running straight into goal to finish it off to make it 2-1. Manchester United. And then we equalised. And it was a lovely equalising goal because it was a lovely cross by Dallo for Bruno to head her in. Portuguese connection. And then 2-2 at half-time. Manchester United making it 3-2 from a beautiful cross in the second half from Anthony. Because what that's what we wanted. We could we believed that, okay, we can come back and do something. And we did. Anthony with a lovely cross outside foot to find Garnacho's head. And Garnacho to score his second goal. 3-2, you fool the four. That's it. We've won it. We've won it. But no. Manchester United do what they do. Mess it up. An equaliser coming from another Cole Palmer penalty by Dallo Fowling. Um, I believe the found Modiweke and the referee just deciding what's going on. It took a while, VAR, and then, of course, it happened to be a penalty. Palmer scores his penalty. He has not missed a penalty. He's been cool all this time. And then 4 3, corner from Chelsea. And then, again, Palmer strikes it and it just takes the fashion and go in. And Chelsea wins it and it's just absolutely annoying. It's short. I'm distraught. I'm so annoyed. Manchester United could have done way better. Way better. We could have kept this. Take a point. Something. They didn't really deserve to lose it. Too tough. But again, I asked myself, manager, 
this way you set up this team is dangerous and I feel like we can't play this football we can't play in this way and it's time to make changes and I just hope it's not him and I, I mean I hope it's not Gareth Southgate and I hope it's not um, it's, um, the other guy sorry guys <laughs> I'm so tired I am so tired right now but I don't have to let, leave it because I'm so pissed off and annoyed with today's result and to me I see it as no points for Manchester United this week I predicted a Chelsea loss and I predicted a Liverpool loss. But it is what it is, guys. You guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Man, the match today, I'm going to have to say for Manchester United was Alejandro Gonacho, donkey of the match. I'm going to have to equally say Casemiro and, and Dallo for that. But yes, guys, let me know what your man of the match is and your donkey of the matches and your thoughts in the comments. Um, we'll be back on Sunday for the watch along for Liverpool to just drill us and pipe us in. I'm not looking forward to it. Till next time, guys. Remember to keep it Red United. I mean, remember to keep it United. And remember to keep it Red United. <sighs> I can't do this anymore. Peace!